Hello and welcome to the history of movie theaters and drive-ins for Salt Lake City for 1970 to 1979. 1970 The Jerry Lewis Cinema opens on April 16th. The Capri Adult Cinema opens on May 20th. The Valley Fair opens on August 13th with four screens in West Valley City by Liberate Theatres. 1971 The town is renamed by Mini Movies Entertainment Incorporated as Palace and starts to show adult movies. On August 1st, the Fox Uptown Theater closes. 1972 United Artists opens the Fashion Place 4 in Murray on February 16th. The Century 22 in South Salt Lake City is split into two screens called Century 22 and 23 on March 1st. 1st. The Trolley Square Theatres 4 opens on June 28 as the first theatre for the chain. ABC Intermountain Theatres opens the Regency Theatre on July 19. The Old Cinema Art Theatre reopens to the public as the Blue Mouse Theatre on October 18. The Jerry Lewis Cinema is renamed the Glendale Theatre on December 1st. 1973 Fox Intermountain Theatres becomes Man Theatres. The Town Theater is renamed the Palace Theater on January 10. The Chantal Theater opens on June 22. The Penthouse Theater atop the Utah Theater becomes the Utah 2 on September 14. The Mark II Cinema in Bountiful opens on November 23rd. The Davis Drive-In in Layton adds its second screen. The Capitol Theater closes. Nineteen seventy-four. The Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saint Boston protesters at the Adult Cinemas downtown. Plit Theatres takes over Intermountain Theatres. The Gallery 2 Adult Cinema opens on November 1st. The Mark II in Bountiful becomes the Trolley North on November 27th. The Greenbrier Theatre opens on December 27th in West Jordan. The Gazebo Theatre in Midvale opens. 1975 
Click Theaters renames the Studio Theater as the Utah 3 on March 28. The Lakeside Discount Cinema in Clearfield opens on August 24. The Trolley Theaters takes over the Rialto Theater and reopens it as the Midtown Trolley on October 7. The Century 21 Theater in South Salt Lake City is renamed Century 21, 22, and 23, and the Century Dome is renamed Century 24 and 25 on November 28, 1976. The Palace Adult Theater closes in April. The Esquire Theater is renamed Studio again on April 11th showing adult movies. The Sandcastle Theater in Bountiful is opened by Consolidated Theaters on September 17th. Trolley Theaters opens the Trolley Family Center for In Midvale on December 21st. Commonwealth Theaters opens the Flick at Trolley Square on December 22nd. The Old Palace Theater reopens on December 29th as the Broadway Theater. These theaters closed in 1976. 1977 The Man Cottonwood Mall in Holiday reopens with four screens on April 23rd. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars. Coming in too fast! An adventure unlike anything on your planet. It's an epic of heroes and villains and aliens from a thousand worlds. Star Wars rated PG. The Plaza Theater in Kearns is reopened as the Valley Twin on August 24th. Commonwealth Theaters opens the Elks Twin on December 16th. The Trolley Corners 3 opens on December 23rd. The Redwood Drive-In in West Valley City adds screens 2 and 3. These theaters closed in 1977. 1978. The Valley Fair 4 in West Valley City is reopened by Consolidated Theaters on July 28. The first screenings in what is now the Sundance Film Festival took place at the Commonwealth Elks Twin. The Redwood Drive-In in West Valley City adds screen number 4. These theaters closed in 1978. 1979. The Carriage Square Trolley Theaters 1 and 2 on May 25th. The Olympus Starship Twin opens on December 21st. These theaters closed in 1979. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.